Hi everybody, it's Shelby with the Chick Plus 3. Welcome. I am very glad that you're joining me today. I hope everybody is doing wonderful. Everything is fine in my neck of the woods. The sun is coming in and out today. The sky is blue. Um, I have been working remotely and um, no grandkids here today so i figured i would take advantage of this little pocket of time and film more of my dollar tree items um if you all saw the haul that i posted i believe on tuesday night uh it went on for about 20 minutes and so i ended it there and i have um more items so i will see if this video goes on too long then I will again stop it and save the rest of the items for another video so in any case I'm glad you're all here so might as well get on with the Dollar Tree haul what do you say <laughs> let's go I have a mishmash of items so um, I'll start off with I guess something not so super exciting but it is the Dermacell extra moisturizing hand wash so it's eight full ounces my Dollar Tree sells um, hand wash in larger refillable sizes but this time of year my skin is so horribly dry that I really like this product so this is a repeat for me and along those same lines, I also picked up a Jergens um, soft soap. This also is extra moisturizing hand wash, cleans and moisturizes, 7.5 full ounces. Cherry vanilla is the scent, but again, this is, um, I believe anyways, a nice hand soap that does not dry out your hands because I mean my knuckles are so dry and getting red it is horrible. The next item I picked up is another repeat purchase for me and it's the Fab Detergent Gel Pods. You get 10 in a package. I um, already have used one full package and I have to say I you know really like it. So 10 loads for a dollar. Again I'm not sure how super cost effective that is. Um, but I'm at the Dollar Tree. That's really the only store I go in in person. Um, if you're new to my channel, I've discussed this in many videos previously, but my husband's health, um, uh, things like that, that I just stay out of the stores. But so, and it says that this is for all, um, you know, H-E machines too. So, and that's what I have for my washer. So I use that. And I apologize, the neighbor's dog is barking um, where I live. Our houses are old, very close together. And so sadly they have, they have three beautiful dogs, um, but one of them definitely tends to bark a lot. But I have three little dogs myself, so I never complain about somebody else's dog barking because if, man, if the mail carrier comes by the front of our house, uh, my dogs all go ballistic and I'm sure that the people on either side can hear that. So in any case, the next item I found is this. Now, I thought this was so incredible. It was in the party aisle. That's why I always say you got to look all around the Dollar Tree. It's made out of plastic, but it definitely has that hammered metal look. So a nice big bowl. I mean, it's it's fairly sturdy. I would say you could even use this to make punch in if you were only serving a couple of people. Um, you know, or four people. You wouldn't want to weight it too, too much. Or you could use it as a chip bowl. You could put gifts in it, use one of those plastic like shrink wrap bags from the Dollar Tree, make a really nice gift. So my Dollar Tree had this large bowl 
and they also had the matching ice bucket, which was very cool. I was very tempted, um, but I did not need the ice bucket, so I just grabbed the bowl. But I thought just, you know, not just for the holidays, it also kind of screamed to New Year's to me. So I thought that was an exciting find. In any case, um, the next item I got is candy Sherwood truffles, milk, dark, and white chocolate. You get seven pieces. So um, this is quite a little box. It's 2.5 ounces. Let's see product of Bulgaria. So I've never tried this before, but I thought I would give it a go. I love chocolate. Um, you know, so just a little box of truffles. Looked tasty. I also picked up these Russell Stover Caramel um, Santas. You get a four pack. My Dollar Tree, I was able to find these last year, and so I was very happy to see them again in the store this year. They have these caramel ones, and then they also have chocolate-covered marshmallow. But these are my absolute favorite, and, um, you know, name brand Russell Stover, so you could certainly put that um, also in a gift basket in a mug that stands up nicely with, you know, some hot chocolate. So you can definitely find plenty of stuff at the Dollar Tree to put together, you know, little gifts for your co-workers, friends, neighbors. Um, if you get a ton of, like, especially now with the situation going on, a lot of people are getting, um, like, multiple deliveries from, you know, Instacart or Amazon. So a lot of, uh, People really like doing a lot of hoofing for people like me, so I'm thinking it would be really nice to, you know, leave something out on the porch when I know I'm having an Instacart delivery come, um, you know, in December with just a little note and the same thing. I won't do like this, you know, again, with all the illness going on, I won't do any like home-baked goods or something because, you know, I don't want, I understand people certainly don't want to eat something prepared by somebody they don't know. But so things like those chocolates in a little mug all gift wrapped would be, I think, certainly safe for um, a delivery person to pick up and take with them. So that's my plan in any case this year. The next item I picked up is another food item and it's these, now I'm not sure how you pronounce it, Baduco uh, wafer chocolates. So they're just these delicious little cookies. You get six servings of four cookies, so about two dozen cookies in here. So I thought that is pretty good, certainly for a dollar. It says that they are baked in the USA. The net weight is 5.82 ounces. So these are the chocolate flavored. These again screamed very like holiday to me. So I picked those up for my husband and I. I also got for my husband, he's a huge fan of the Queen Anne Cordial Cherries. So this is just a little small box of the milk chocolate ones. It contains five pieces, but I figured he doesn't actually need more than five pieces. And um, this has just always been a tradition in his Christmas stocking, either the, the cello, the cello or cello, the C-E-L-L-O chocolate covered cherries or the Queen Anne have always been one or the other that I bought for him. Um, you know, for over the past 30 years. So I thought this was, you know, a nice little perfect size, not super deep, so this will fit nicely in a Christmas stocking. So I picked those up, and again, this says that it is made in the USA. And this would be another nice little item um, to, you know, put in a little basket to leave for a carrier or a friend, anything like that. I also grabbed two packs of these little party plates. You get 24 in the package. Um, these are just in the regular party aisle at my Dollar Tree, so they have all the primary colors. Um, 
you know, and the, like pinks, pastels. So I just grabbed two of the red, I thought, to kind of make my life simpler in the month of December when my grandkids are over here. Uh, always looking for something to eat, it seems. So perfect size for a sandwich or a snack so that I do not have to keep doing dishes. So I know paper plates, not the greatest thing for the environment, um, certainly, but um, right now I am, there are certain things that I have to do just to make my life manageable. And so at times paper plates are one of those things. So I am just, you know, telling you how it is for me currently. So along those same lines, I picked up these, uh, these are the dinner size, size, so you only get 18 of these. The snowman with the little red truck and the tree, very cute pattern. This was, this is a repeat this year. They had this print out in 2019 at my Dollar Tree. Um, so far I have not seen anything to me that looks new in the paper products. So like the cups, the plates, the napkins, all the patterns I saw last year. So the same thing with this one. This is actually one of my favorite patterns. It just to me has a really vintagey vibe and it, um, it goes with my house. So the same thing, this is an 18 count, but I picked up two of those to use in the month of December. Now this next product I got for myself I'm kind of <laughs> maybe embarrassed to show it. I don't know because I'm sure like this is something definitely my husband cannot eat because of the sodium count. But I don't know. I was I, I just have been dying for like this boxed, boxed stuffing. So um, my husband grew up in a family. They make their, you know, stuffing for holidays or you know, from scratch are definitely using like stuffing bread, bell seasoning, you know, celery sausage, like that whole bit. But sometimes, man, I just like quick and easy and I just love this box stuffing. So I grabbed a box of this specifically for me. Um, the next item I picked up, I got two of these and they come eight in a pack and they're the gift sacks. So this really isn't a super like Christmas green picture, more like Kermit the Frog, but it's, you know, a nice shade of green um, regardless, you know, maybe it is, you know, this is the shade of green that um, I'm thinking like the Grinch, uh, yeah, so like the Grinch, Dr. Susie, um, Whoville, like all that type of thing. So I needed this for a project I'm doing for um, kids, so I grabbed two packs of those. Ideally, I was hoping to find red, but my store had no red. The next item I picked up is a pair of these cookie trays. So I got two of these cookie sheets. Um, Again, from the Dollar Tree, I don't think, you know, you can beat them. I don't know. I have no issues. I have no idea if the quality of your baking comes out better on different sheets, but I have used these numerous, numerous times. I use parchment paper that I also purchase at the Dollar Tree. And so these are just the Cooking Concepts brand, um, 13 inch by nine inch and in all honesty you know I use them for a while and if they get destroyed I don't feel like super bad about it I did not pay you know mega amounts of money so I just got to find a spot to put those but I grabbed those the next item I picked up is this pad of marker and pen or marker and paint pads you could certainly use it for pens too it's by Crayola, the 25 sheets, and it's just plain paper. Again, with um, my granddaughter doing remote learning on certain days in my home, um, the teacher will often just say, you know, grab a piece of blank paper. So I was getting low. I had to pick that up. And along the same lines, I grabbed this pack of construction paper, 36 sheets, um, because they do also 
it's all remote so um, art class you know you, you just you never know they ask for things like this so I needed to pick up more so 36 sheets I didn't think that was you know too horribly bad 36 full size 9 inch by 12 inch sheets of construction paper this would just be enough too if you were interested in doing like a paper chain with the kids for Christmas something like that this would come in real handy for that so I grabbed those I also picked up, this is another repeat purchase for me, the Glade Room Spray, the Berry, Merry, and Bright, limited edition notes of Merlot, berries, and spice. So I guess that's what keeps getting me is that it is limited edition. So um, when I feel mine getting low, it's like, oh, I grab another one. So I think I have now two in reserve, this and one more, um, because again, this is a product that... I definitely need all the scent I can get in my house because my plus three are um, smelly plus threes. <laughs> so I'm talking about my plus three that are the four-legged ones. <laughs> so in any case, I grabbed another one of these. It's Glade brand, eight ounces, um, name brand, you know, Johnson Family Company product. So I really like the smell of that, so I thought I would pick that up. This is also a product that I get every time we use one up. Now this time, this is the two individual little flatbread pizza crusts. They also sell one large full-size one that I buy very often too. But on occasion, shake it up a little bit, and these are the fun size. So they are Baker's Ultra Crispy Ultra Thin Pizza Crust, ready to top. And you get two in this package. This says used by March 18th, 2021, non-GMO wheat. Um, they say you can cook them on the grill. What I do is I have a pizza stone that I love that I purchased years ago from a Pampered Chef Lake Home Party. Put that in the oven as it's preheating. That gets nice and hot. Slip this onto that with, you know, whatever toppings. You can do a white crust or, you know, white, um, like broccoli and cheese, things like that. You can do red sauce. I mean, mushrooms, tomatoes, onions. It's perfect to just use up little bits of, you know, really any type of vegetable, that. And I'm telling you, these things are delicious. Sometimes I'm almost like, oh, do I want to share how good they are? Because <laughs> sometimes I go into the Dollar Tree and I can't find them. And I'm like, oh, none of my pizza crust. So this is kind of like a Friday night tradition in our house is making one of these. And so um, I just, as I say, I use one up and I always go back and get another one. And the shelf life on these things are long so there are no worries excuse me I'm sorry that was the cookie sheet just falling beside me the next item I picked up is just this spray bottle so it's a uh, metal gold they had it um, probably in like two other colors a rose gold and I think a metallic blue this was in the beauty aisle so I needed to um, make a cleaning product so I grabbed this but when I got it home then I realized I'm not so sure if um, like bleach or chemical will react in the metal bottle so now I have not made the product in it because I was thinking oh maybe I should have looked for a plastic one so you know I'll see but worst case scenario if I end up um, not using this for a cleaning product I will let it stick around and in the summer I could fill it with water you know spray the kids down or maybe um, my husband does a lot of gardening so I could see maybe some of his plant food or something um, would definitely be safe in this that he could spray and use it so you know I got that I am not somebody that tends to ever um, return something at the Dollar Tree because I know you can do I've been in line when people have 
uh, return something and so like you can exchange it for the same item I think possibly another item but I usually you know as I say if it's something like this where I decide oh actually that is not for me I often can find somebody certainly that can use it or um, lots of donation places uh, not-for-profit businesses that use things like this um, my job for instance we're not-for-profit so you know around the building um, other families I can pass these things on the next item I got this is always a repeat purchase and I've talked about the Dollar Tree batteries before and how I you know had broke down spent all kinds of money on Energizer brand and felt like I honestly didn't have any better luck in the amount of time they were lasting so I got an eight pack of the double A and then a uh, three pack of the C batteries because I do have one set of Christmas lights that are on a timer that I got from QVC probably about four years ago and they take C batteries so when I pulled them out this year I was like oh I need C batteries so I went and grabbed that and then I think the last two things in this haul for today are a snack pack chocolate pudding. This is a dollar. I know um, often at my grocery store you can get it on sale for 99 cents, 89 cents. But again, I say over and over, the Dollar Tree is where I go in person. I was there. My grandchildren love this, so I grabbed that. And another product that I love I much prefer this Dollar Tree brand than um, name brands at the grocery store. So these are the Frosted Strawberry Toastum Pop-Ups. You get the six toaster pastries in the box and I absolutely love these things. <laughs> So that is everything for my Dollar Tree haul today. I hope you enjoyed, and if you liked this video, I would love it if you would subscribe, like, comment. Um, it would make me very happy if you subscribed and became part of my YouTube community. I think we have a wonderful little group here, and um, I love reading the comments and hearing what other people have going on or what they're finding at their local Dollar Trees. So in any case, um, what I have coming up next will be, of course, another Dollar Tree haul. And I am also working on um, filming my Christmas home tour. So I put out a video, I think, sharing some of my... Um, favorite vintage home pieces. I mean, I don't think I put out the video. I know I put it out. I was trying to remember the title of it. Some of my like vintage decor pieces that I like to use to then decorate for the holidays. But I will be having like my Christmas home tour video come up. Um, like I did a fall one and then or Halloween and then a little Thanksgiving one but um, the Christmas one, for Christmas I go much more grand. Not to everybody's taste, but um, my husband and I like it, so I figure we live here, that's good enough. But in any case, I have now have been talking way too long, so again, I thank you very much for taking some time out of your very busy day to spend it with me, and until next time, please be well.